Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use the rename function on the M extension toolbar again. I know we had a short preview on the function in the past, but now we're going to discuss other features. Not going to emphasize again on the utility of it, the time and the money it saved me. I'm just going to go straight to my presentation. Um, on a short description, the function will rename all files without loss of links between the assembly, parts, and drawings. Just think about how tedious this would have been to do it by hand. All right, so once again, I've opened my assembly and clicked on the rename on the M extension toolbar. A short description of the function appears, and after clicking next, a list of all models is being displayed. In this list, I can add any eye properties, custom or not, to the list via right click on any column and select column chooser. As you can see I have a custom I property called project quantity that I can add but for now let's just add project to the list. If you right click on any of the items you can locate them on disk, locate them in the assembly, open as well as refresh the list or change it from regular list to assembly tree type, just like in the bill of materials of Inventor. The items in grey are library files and they cannot be modified from within the project. If you want to bypass this security issue, then you need to open the assembly from within a project that doesn't have them as a library. You can use the default project that comes with Inventor. Let's try and clean this list and put a filter on the file path and keep just the files that are inside my inventor drawings folder. Sort by part number reveal that I have two components with same name and part number, plate. One is in the electric panel folder and the other one is in the root of my workspace. I will rename one of the components from plate to long plate and hit apply. Two files were renamed, the model and the drawing, and two properties are modified, part number and description. Let's update the project number on the parts with missing value. Select all the cells that need updating Right click on the column name and choose update multiple values. Set in the desired value and click apply. Now let's do a replace value on the files containing wall and change it to plate. This is case sensitive, so it will just replace the lowercase words that we'll find. As with any window of the M extension, you can copy the contents to clipboard and paste it to Word, Excel or any other program for advanced reports and data manipulation. Looking in my electric panel folder, I can see that the program changed the name of the model plate to long plate, and it also changed the name of the drawing. If we open the drawing, we can see that it's still linked with the model, and it will still be linked with the assembly as well. This concludes my presentation on the rename function.